Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now the other day I put together a £469 Ryzen 5 1600AF system using the new Ryzen 5 chip. Now unlike the original Ryzen 5 1600, this is essentially a slightly slower 2600. It's now a 12 nanometer part instead of 14 nanometer. And admittedly it still is a little bit harder to find in the UK and a couple of other countries after reading through your comments it would seem. But I wanted to make a comparison video today comparing this brand new Ryzen 5 1600 AF to the old Ryzen 5 1600, the original 2017 14 nanometer part to see what difference you can expect in games and CPU intensive tasks. But I also wanted to see how well they would both compare with a mid-range graphics card instead of something completely high-end. So I've gone with the 1660 Ti. I feel that this is a realistic choice for either one of these two chips, even in 2020, and you're going to have a very nice gaming experience with the Ryzen 5 1600 and a 1660 Ti graphics card. So let's get into the comparisons. Now both of these CPUs were tested at stock speeds and paired with 16 gigs of 3200 MHz DDR4. The new 1600 AF is supposed to cost around £85 new here in the UK, which is what I paid for mine at CCL, and the original chips can be picked up on the used market for about the same. We'll check out comparative gaming performance first, starting with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I ran the benchmark test three times with both CPUs installed, and here is how they compared. This is a pattern that will remain similar throughout and anyone looking at a Ryzen 5 1600 for gaming in 2020 will have a great time whether they end up with the original 2017 chip or this new version, they are both excellent. Battlefield 5 likes a good strong CPU with plenty of cores and either chip once again won't disappoint. This tank level put both 6 core 12 threaded processors through their paces and the 1660 Ti makes for a nice combination. Metro Exodus is a great looking title and will also run very nicely on both CPUs. Even at the high settings here the game's environments look fantastic and this game will require some beefy hardware to run it at the absolute maximum settings. The same can be said for Red Dead Redemption 2, I'd be inclined to use the high texture settings but drop most things down to medium as this is a very demanding title. There are some specific settings that have a significant impact on the frame rate but there are plenty of online guides to help you configure this to look and play at its absolute best. The Outer Worlds is a totally mixed bag performance wise, some areas will see you exceed 100 FPS and other areas will drop that number right down, but here, as I run around Edgewater with the high settings, things remained pretty smooth. The 1600 AF will perform closely to an overclocked OG 1600, but with that said, bear in mind that the new 1600 can be overclocked higher than the original. As for CPU intensive tasks, it's very much a similar situation to as if you were comparing the original 1600 with a 2600, and as far as productivity goes, you'll have a slightly better experience with the new chip. All in all, if both CPUs are available where you live, then the AF is the one to look out for, and it's worth asking your chosen retailer if this is the model they stock. As identified by the SKU name change, from the last two letters, which were originally AE. Nevertheless, if the new Ryzen 1600 isn't available where you live, you'll still have a great time with the original, which does carry a fantastic used price tag and would be an ideal pairing with, say, a 1650 Super, 5600 XT or 1660 Ti maybe even something more powerful. I hope you've enjoyed this quick comparison. If you're thinking about the new Ryzen 5 chip, pairing it with a mid-range graphics card, hopefully this has helped you out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one, where I shall reveal my new graphics card as voted for by you.